All right, so this is the um, three-phase motor controller that I've developed, that I'm working on developing, I'm not finished yet. For my Nissan Leaf motor, you can see below there, that's the Nissan Leaf motor. It's pretty big, it's pretty cool. Um, what I'm experimenting with right now is I'm running on 30 volts. I've actually overheated those wires, running a lot of current to the phases, or to the actual bus bars, positive and negative. Um, nonetheless, I'm experimenting with what's called high-frequency tone. I'm going to try and turn this on and we'll see if it works. So it should start making a tone pretty soon. And then I'm going to attempt to apply the throttle, which is right here. And that should get it spinning. You can hear the tone starting now. There it is. And now it's running in full sensorless. So it's gone up to drive mode 3, which is that third LED. And I can actually vary the throttle to vary the RPM. This throttle is just temporary. All this stuff's mostly just temporary. Um, you can see my lab supply of power and the, uh, the brain board and a few things there. Um, nonetheless, it's working pretty good. I still have some experimenting to do. I've pulled a lot of current through these wires trying to get this and I'm gonna have to buy a new test lead set. Luckily the Snap-on guy keeps those on stock and knows to come by and see me once in a while. Anyways, everything's working. I'm pretty excited. So far, so good. So now I just have to spend a bunch of time with the computer and set up all the little programs, all these little menus and everything I have to go through. But it's working. It's pretty neat. And right now at 30 volts, your voltage actually limits the speed. That's how fast the output shaft would be spinning. So it'd be like, I don't know, 10 kilometers an hour down the road. So. I haven't done the math, but somewhere around there. Nonetheless, it works, and that's what really matters.